Hello, sixth grade. Today is our last homework assignment before our mid-unit quiz tomorrow. Today we are working on scaling ratios, and I know that this is challenging for some kids, right? You can do it. It takes some thinking and it takes some practice, right? So it says that there are two problems, complete the front and the back side. Because you came for help, I am going to do the second problem with you, which has such bigger numbers. So it says a recipe uses 480 grams of cabbage. So there's 480 cabbage to make 60 egg rolls. So there's our 60 egg rolls. Write your own equivalent ratios to find how many egg rolls you can make with 200 grams of cabbage. So what I'm noticing is that I have numbers in the top row. There's 480 cabbage and there's 200 cabbage. So I need to find some missing multiples or factors that can help me scale either up or down, more or less, until I get to 200, right? So something that I notice right off the bat is that both of these end in zero. So what that means is 10 is a common factor. If I know that 10 is a common factor, then I don't want to, I don't want to divide by 10. I want 10 to be the number in the box, All right? So now in my calculator, I'm going to do 480 divided by 10. And when I punch in those buttons, I get 48. So when I draw my arrow from 480 to 10, that 48 answer is what I need to divide by. And if I divide by 48 on the top, then I need to divide by 48 on the bottom. And this time I really need to use a calculator. Grab the one on my phone here. Calculator, I'm gonna do 60 divided by 48. And it gets me a decimal and that is okay. One and 25 hundredths. So when I read this column, it says 10 cabbage, 10 grams of cabbage to make one and a quarter egg rolls. Would I make 1.25 egg rolls? Nope, I wouldn't, right? But that's not what I'm trying to do. When I got to the store, I bought 200 grams of cabbage. So I need to figure out now how many egg rolls that's going to make me. So now I'm looking at 10 and 20 on the top. I need a number either bigger than 10, a multiple of 10 that's a factor of 200, or I could get an even smaller number that's a factor of both numbers. I know that two is a factor of both numbers, right? I can times five to get to 10, or I could times by 100. Instead, what I'm going to look at is double 10. If I double 10, I'm going to get to 20. And 20 and 200 look very similar. 200 is 20 with a zero, which means all I have to do is times by 10 at this point. So I'm going to copy those arrows on the top. First, I'm going to double the number of egg rolls. So in my calculator, that is 1 and 25 hundredths times 2. That gets me to two and five tenths, or two and a half. And then I'm gonna match my arrow from on the top, times 10. So I'm gonna need times 10 down below. So two and a half times 10 gets me to 25. So this now says 200 grams of cabbage would make 25 egg rolls. So I'm going to circle my final answer. It's going to make 25. Okay. Before I'm done, I want you to see that the numbers have to match. Okay. I know it's tricky to figure out these middle numbers. We've talked about divisibility rules a lot this year. And if you can remember your divisibility rules, Oftentimes dividing by two or multiplying by two or fives or tens, they're going to get you a long ways, right? 
Give it your best shot. Keep practicing. This will get easier. Don't forget to also do the problem up on the top. You can do it. We'll see you in class tomorrow.